South Africa is the world's biggest producer of gold and platinum. It's also produced some of the world's wealthiest people, four of which are in the world's top 500 richest, where a name stands out among them all as number one on that list. So we'll start with him. Elon Musk is a perfect example of what it's like to be a South African billionaire, as he's the richest man in the world. Musk, the co-founder and CEO of Tesla, has a net worth of $223 billion, who surpassed the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, who now has an estimated net worth of $178 billion. Musk, a father of six and a notorious workaholic, does not spend his money on too many leisure activities or extravagant vacations. In fact, he stated in 2015 that he had only taken two weeks off since founding SpaceX 12 years earlier. Musk even said he was going to spend his 48th birthday at work, improving the company's global logistics, he said. However, Musk never misses an annual camping trip with his kids, and he's a self-proclaimed pretty good dad, according to him on Twitter. Over the years, the CEO of the company has purchased residential property in California worth more than $100 million. But after vowing to sell all his real estate and to own no house last year, he has since sold much of it. He ditched four of his Bel Air residences for a combined $62 million. But let's take a look inside Elon Musk's notorious last mansion located in the San Fran area that he sold for $32 million. Musk originally listed the 16,000 square foot house for $35 million last year, a price that would net him a large profit since he originally paid $23.3 million for the house in 2017, according to property records. The property has now been on and off the market since he announced he would sell all of his assets. Built circa 1912, this historic residence was designed by the firm Bliss & Favel. Over the years, it has been renovated to fit modern standards. The grand ballroom, dining room, and kitchens have all been upgraded. Located on a spacious 47-acre lot, it is a stunning seven-bedroom, seven-bath home. A retractable library shelf wall in the dining room conceals a hidden cocktail room. A separate flower arranging room is available in the basement along with wine and whiskey cellars. There are two full baths, one with a freestanding tub in the primary suite, which also has a fireplace and two closets. Additionally, there is a separate three-car garage, as well as a pool and pavilion outside. These have luxurious interiors featuring bay views, a grand ballroom, nine bedrooms, and 10 bathrooms. What is Musk's current address? Well, in June, he tweeted he was renting a $50,000 property in Boca Chica, close to SpaceX's campus. It's no surprise that Musk has a keen interest in cars, as he's head of one of the world's largest automakers. He purchased the Lotus Esprit submarine car used in a James Bond movie for $920,000 in 2013. Musk is obviously all about the electric cars he produces, but can't resist other gas-powered cars too, like the Ford Model T, the Jaguar E-Type Series 1 Roadster, a McLaren F1, which he later totaled, the Audi Q7, a Haman BMW M5, and a Porsche 911. The billionaire says he enjoys inexpensive hobbies, such as listening to music, playing video games, reading books, hanging out with his children, seeing friends, and occasionally going a little crazy on Twitter. When it comes to his work, he's all about it. Musk not only invests a lot of time and money in Tesla, he also has a substantial stake in the company. He bought shares of Tesla worth more than $35 million in the first half of 2018. Once Elon Musk 
lost $50 billion in just two days. After Tesla's shares soared 60% in 2021, Musk became the first person to have a net worth exceeding $300 billion as the company's market cap surpassed a $1 trillion valuation. He remained the world's richest man despite falling back below the jaw-dropping figure. Fine, yes, Musk might be a bit boring when it comes to buying luxuries, but the good news is he signed the Giving Pledge in 2012, promising to donate the majority of his wealth during his lifetime, and he is certainly in the business of improving our environment. Johan Rupert has an estimated net worth of $12.4 billion, and his luxury goods company, Rich Amount, just surged on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange due to pandemic sales. The rich and successful around the world tend to keep their private lives under wraps, as does he. Even so, he is known to invest handsomely in certain things. Such as, he paid $2.5 million for a bull at the Thabatholo Game Farm in Limpopo. And the South African businessman bought this bull at that million dollar record breaking price. In South Africa, Mystery is the largest bull in terms of horn span, with a span of 1.36 meters. Rupert's stud farm on his estate, Drakenstein Stud Farm, will be a great place for Mystery to graze. A huge mansion is known to be owned by Rupert in Cape Town. It is estimated to be worth 2 million euros, a major asset in his portfolio. This property is found in Franschhoek. There are nine vineyards on the property, including wines like Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir, Merlot, Sauvignon Blanc, and Cabernet Sauvignon. It's no wonder he has an epic tasting room with such a wine list. A renovated historic and handsome manor on the estate serves as his tasting room. It is decorated with period art and Cape Dutch style furniture. It's stunning everywhere you look, with views of the wine valley from the front veranda and a view of the rose garden and the Groot Drakenstein Mountains from the back porch. This place won't just blow you away with its award-winning wine, there's a lot to discover inside. Johan leads by example when it comes to cars. The estate also has a motor museum. The Motor Museum inside this building houses Johann Rupert's collection of 220 plus cars, including one of his most notable automobiles, his 1963 Ferrari Lusso GT. A wide array of vehicles are always on display, including a Beeston motorcycle from 1898 and a Ferrari Enzo supercar from 2013. Located on 2,700 square meters of open space, the museum's walls are dehumidified and its cars are arranged chronologically throughout. Want to see it up close and personal? Well, there is also an estate museum package available if you'd like a tour. And when it comes to getting around the world in style, He's the proud owner of a Bombardier Global 6000 private jet. On now to the diamond boss himself, Nicky Oppenheimer. Among South Africa's most wealthy families, the Oppenheimers have held a significant stake in De Beers, the country's main diamond mining company, for quite some time. Anglo-American purchased the shares for more than $4.3 billion in the mid in mid-2012. Nikki and his siblings own private jets, yachts, the latest Mercedes-Benz McLaren, and a $180,000 BMW i3 EV. Nikki Oppenheimer owns an English country estate, Waltham Palace, and he also owns the Brenthurst Gardens estate in Johannesburg, a 45-acre private garden. When he isn't working, Nicholas enjoys crime novels, relaxing with his dogs, playing cricket, and flying his own helicopter. Now that is some paint job, gotta love it. He doesn't need to worry about booking a private jet as he started his own private jet charter company called Fireblade Aviation. Of course, he therefore uses some of the aircraft in his personal fleet, which includes a Global 6500 and two Challenger 350s, but 
he typically flies internationally on the Global 6500. The owner of the famous Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club and African Rainbow Minerals has the net worth of $1.5 billion. It's Patrice Matsape. He's married with kids and drives a bunch of expensive cars, including a $90,000 Bentley Continental GT, Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG, a $60,000 BMW 760Li, and a Bugatti. His main home is located in Cape Town, South Africa's richest neighborhood. This property is especially appealing because it is located in Bishop's Court, the country's most prestigious suburbs. Also, the area is slightly elevated and offers breathtaking views of Table Mountain and Cape Town. This $8 million home is situated on a 12,000 square foot estate and has six bedrooms, a swimming pool, and a tropical garden, which is prominently South African vegetation. In addition to the six ensuite bedrooms with dressing rooms, Bishop's Court also has a floodlit tennis court and a pavilion with a swimming pool. There is a separate lounge with a fireplace in the main bedroom suite, as well as dressing rooms for him and her. In the basement, in addition to a cigar lounge and a 24-seat dining room, there is a gym, a music room, a cinema room, a billiard room, and a climate-controlled wine cellar. A 10-bay garage has a separate bay to have cars washed. Additionally, the mansion has a staff wing and a house for the estate manager. The 59-year-old mining billionaire also has his own private plane, which he once shared with rapper 50 Cent. E-commerce investor Kuz Becker transformed Naspers, a South African newspaper, into a cable TV powerhouse and is now a prominent South African billionaire. Kuz is now worth some $2.5 billion, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. He and his wife spend much of their time at Babylon Storen, a sprawling farm and luxury hotel they own in the Cape Winelands that dates back to the 17th century. The Babylon Storen estate in South Africa's Western Cape regions covers nearly 600 acres and includes a farm, an orchard, vineyard, and architecture dating back to 1690. In the extraordinary gardens here, Karen Roos and Coos grow more than 300 varieties of edible and medicinal plants. Although Babylon Storen is owned by a billionaire and has a notable heritage, it's definitely still a farmhouse, but cast in luxury. In the kitchen, it has a large open hearth and a dining room table where you have to expect most of the action takes place. The cooking area features an aga gas hob and wood-burning stove. The kitchen chandelier is made from an antique wine bottle dryer. I didn't even know such a thing existed. It is typical of Cape Dutch homes to have floor-to-ceiling windows with a view like that, why not? The deep-set windows reveal the thickness of the stone and clay brick walls, which were built to endure the intense heat in summer. He loves his real estate because after six years of renovation, Naspers chair Kuz Becker opened their multi-million pound estate in Somerset, UK. A three-hour drive from London, this hotel, garden, and restaurant complex is home to spiraling gardens, a spa, and a cider press. There are 13 suites in the mansion and 10 rooms in the hotel's original horse barns. It was all about creating their own luxury living space, as wildlife makes these gardens their home too. Ruse and Becker were required to protect the roughly 2,000 endangered newts before construction could begin. They were happy to do it, however, renaming the estate from Hatspin House to the Newt House to honor the efforts made to protect the small, slippery little guys. Okay, he's not quite a billionaire, but he used to be, and is still pretty close. Christophel Weiss had a net worth of $6.8 billion, but as of December 2017, he's reported to be worth now $742 million. Well, I guess he can still buy nice gifts, though. Weiss took his gifting to another level by buying the most expensive house in South Africa for his daughter, Claire. It's called the Clifton House and was initially purchased for $7 million. 
Christoffel Wies built his Pepcorp retail empire by offering bargain prices in South Africa and expanded into other African countries, but stepped down as chairman of Steinhoff International in December 2017 after the company disclosed accounting irregularities. He also owns 18% of publicly traded ShopRite Holdings which has supermarkets and furniture stores in 15 countries across Africa. His other assets include stakes in private equity firm Breit, industrial products company Invicta Holdings, and mining sector investor Pallinghurst. So he's doing just fine. With a gabion wall enclosing the living area, the Clifton home is a real eye catcher. The elevation is the real highlight. Just take a look at these views. Located above road level, this house maximizes the views. On the first floor, the guest flat has a full view of the street and the sea beyond and is provided with privacy by cedar wood shutters. P. Rudin Architects designed the house on a 1,481 square meter plot, one of the largest in the area. The property includes six ensuite bedrooms, a media room, a gym, a wine cellar, six car garage, outdoor entertainment area with infinity pool, and one of Cape Town's best views. Billionaire Dr. Patrick Soon Xiong is one of the wealthiest men in the healthcare industry and paid $500 million to buy the Los Angeles Times and the San Diego Union Tribune in 2018. Patrick Soon Xiong and Michelle Chan, his longtime former actress wife, are huge real estate ballers. They just don't talk much about it. The two are not listed in public records. Through dozens of LLCs and blind trusts, the couple have covered their tracks very well. However, big money always makes a lot of noise, and people love to talk about it, like me. Soon Xiong and Chen currently own luxury residences worth more than $150 million. He apparently has a major thing for the ocean because he owns at least five extravagant spreads in Malibu and Laguna Beach that have cost him, wait for it, well over $100 million. So most of these South Africans like to play their cards pretty close to their chests. But when you're spending this amount of money on cars, jets, yachts and homes, it's hard to hide. Nice attempt, fellas, but the richest will always get the scoop. Why even try?